Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game, Rally Mechanic Simulator. A big thank you to Atomic Jelly and Play Away for allowing us access to this demo, this playtest. Uh, this is a game that I've been keeping an eye on since uh, last year once it was announced. Uh, got high hopes for this game. I love my car mechanic simulators. I love all my kind of car building games. I do a lot of this in real life. I have classic cars here at the house. I'm really into uh, this kind of stuff. So look, big high hopes for this. I've not tried it. This is going to be my first time with you. I don't know how long the demo is going to be. Probably not very long. Um, so we'll see what we think. And hopefully if you guys enjoy this, let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully when this does come out, that we will be doing something uh, on the channel with this. Okay, so welcome to the tutorial of the game. Uh, very much like Car Mechanic Simulator. The garage uh, looks fairly similar doesn't it okay here you can learn the basics of rms gameplay we'll show you how to manage fluids change part variants and set part parameters uh, as needed in the end you'll be doing your first race okay so go to the garage laptop and good luck okay the laptop is down there for it's gonna be upstairs then okay so let's go to the laptop we got to hold the uh, mouse button. Okay, rallies will be your main source of income. Influence your progress of the team. Choose a rally by clicking on the tile, describing it in the garage laptop. All right. Uh, so this looks like it. Not big money, but it looks like asphalt straight. It's um, pretty flat. It's going to be dry. So we're going to click on this. We're going to select it. Yes. Okay, as you can see, the checklist, your car is not ready for the rally because some of the broken parts is not suitable for the uh, selected route type. Let's make it happen. Okay, so the car is damaged. Uh, the car isn't adapted for rally. Uh, the car is clean, though. Well, that's a bonus. Spare parts, only necessary parts to start the rally. Okay, we got... Uh, oh, the rally cost is 7324. Okay, so we can escape this, then. Okay, your car has some broken parts on the body. We have to replace them. Uh, while in assembly mode, you can take off certain parts of the car. Dismantle the broken front window by holding it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a big, uh, big old crack there. Now you should be able to install appropriate healthy part in its place for the repair the site to be completed by pressing uh, Okay, we get the wheel out And then we want to go to assembly mode And apparently we already have this front window uh, ready to go So yeah, we'll throw that in or did it charge me just then? I'm not sure Looks like the internal parts of the car are set to gravel and broken Let's start preparing the car fully for the rally on asphalt road start by changing the front left wheel Okay, so we need to Disassemble mode. Uh, this is the front left. Okay, certain elements can be taken off as a set while in disassembly mode. Hold uh, on that part outlined uh, orange, take out all at once. And uh, taken out of the set, you can return them. Dismantle the front left as a set. Okay, so as a set, as you can see, uh, if we right click on it, no, that's not what we need to do. No, it wasn't happy with what I just done then. But apparently, I'm going to take it off this way. Uh, this. I don't know if this breaks to be for gravel. Okay, it's like a brake line there. Okay, that was as a set. Okay, take off the gravel front left shock as all by holding it. Okay. Who knew that uh, you'd have gravel... Uh, suspension. I suppose there's different setups, but I've never known a gravel suspension on its own. Hey, but we'll roll with it. Okay, when in the garage, you can use the tire changes to change the rim of the tire. You can use to change the types of tire or just replace broken elements. Tire change can only be accessed in the garage, so when you're going on a rally, you have to prepare. Okay, so we we'll always have to prepare uh, on time. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to dismantle the tire that we've already got, which is the gravel one. Main objective of this mini game is to keep the indicator in the green tiles. You can jump between levels by pressing space. Alright, so I have... Right, okay. Bit of an odd mini game, isn't it? Okay, I'm I keep thinking of car mechanic uh, buttons, and they're not the right buttons, so we need to uh, sort this out, don't we? Okay, now let's prepare the right wheel for a rally. New size. According to the brakes, car needs different wheel sizes. As for gravel, the best is to use 15 inch wheels, but for asphalt, we use 18 inch. 
Alright, okay. Just want to see what all this stuff is. I can't seem to be able to get out of that, that parts directory. There we go. So we're going to attach a tire. We want the 18 rim like it wants and we want the asphalt tire. So we're going to have to do this to all four tires obviously. Okay, crate wheels. Uh, okay, well, I, just because I touched it, we, we do need to balance the tire as well, of course. Main objective is press space indicating above the green tiles. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've got the wheel. Let's mount the front left wheel and its place other parts to start our chosen rally. Okay, front left suspension. We need to go to the assembly mode. Uh, we want the asphalt one. It's already telling us what, what's going in, to be honest, so that's good. Okay, that side's already done by the looks of it as well. So we're only doing this one side. Okay, so we can put in the asphalt set. Putting in the brake lines, attaching the caliper. And then we're going to put in our new rim. Okay, by using the service mode, you can modify certain aspects of the car like it's fluid and other parameters. Uh, okay, so... Service mode. While service mode active, you can pour or pour fluids. Right, I want to get over here. Can we move like car mechanic simulator? Or do I need to come out of... Uh, what I'm currently doing, I don't know. There we go, we're kind of getting a bit closer. Okay, so we're just drained. Pour new oil by holding over the valve cover. So, okay. We can see how much we're going in now. I suppose we want it up to the top, right? Close service mode with escape. Now your car is ready. Okay, so it's just one wheel. I like the way it's up on the stand. So, obviously during stages, maybe we get to replace parts and stuff. I don't know. That's what I'm quite excited for. Okay, spare parts only necessary. Alright, that's fine. Um, Alright, so let's uh, press enter to start the rally. You didn't feel what spare parts you want to take. Okay, welcome to the service park. Uh, go to the rally laptop and hold to access and start a rally. Uh, do I get to drive? Okay, in the rally laptop you can check the current status of your car, your current place, race. Most importantly, you send your car to the next special uh, selection from here. Your car is ready. Okay, so end service. Top of the morning to ya. Today marks the okay, start of the rally. League rally. Today's weather report sunny Part with a repairs, chance of repairs, general maintenance while the cars on track. While the cars on track, you can listen to the comments about your driver, gain access by really accidents, brutal today. skip the rally by Teams pressing space, or... Good luck. With the start of second stage, they are flying through the track again. We have the lead a has changed hands a few times now, showcasing the competitiveness of this sport. All I can say is that rookies are proving themselves today. I've got a feeling that's not the last time we will see those surnames. It's clear that studying the track and making good pace notes was worth it. They exactly know where and how to drive to get some few second off the time. There was a minor collision and it appears that left fender side got quite a beating. That could be a challenge for the mechanics. Okay, so we With did get a little crash. With the championship at stake, every move matters as the battle for supremacy continues as they weave through the S-turns, pushing their limits. Look at how sharp they are taking the turns. They take more aggressive approach today for sure. A mechanical issue for one of the contenders. This could be a game changer in the championship standings. They didn't get their dream time today, but let's look at a bright side. It's a great learning opportunity. And that's the end of the first stage. Send the beast to the service park.
Okay, now your car's on the right, this downtime. Okay, well, it's not the downtime I want. How do we move on? Okay, I suppose we can skip the rally now. Okay, so it's come back dirty. Oh, I'm not washing up. Oh, yeah, look, we, we take a bit of a beating. Okay, complete the dues uh, to finish the service. Part not found. Check front right brake system. Okay. After returning from the track, the service time will start. The first time... Okay. A clean car will help you spot broken parts. Viewing the car so you can have a wash the car before going back on track because the car has to be clean to be sent off in the next special section. Okay. Okay, so we're not getting done for time in the tutorial, but we will get done for time going forward. Looks like it's taking a hit. Okay. Test mode. Looks like the brake needs fixing. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we already have front uh, brakes ready to go. So obviously it's going to be important what spare parts we take to rallies, etc. What am I going to do? Obviously cars will just have to go out broken, won't they? Okay, the shock absorber is damaged. Scratches and stains and visual distortion. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. You can see there's a little bit there. Okay, this part can be repaired. You can see that repairable... Okay, nice. I like that. Right. Internal parts can repair tape. We use to repair the most... Uh, and there are three colors. Green, yellow, and red. Each one represents a change in the health. Green, successful, mediocre, failure. All right. Well, it's, they've not made it too hard, so that's good. Okay, maybe it's going to get a bit harder. Okay, we've already fixed that now, so it looks like we can go put it back in. Uh, we want to go to the assembly mode. Because we are awesome mechanics. I'm quite excited for this game. I like the idea of going rallying and fixing the car on the fly. I think that's a different approach to these car mechanic simulators, and I really do like that. And I think that we get the timing as well, I think is pretty good. Okay, we've done the shocks and brakes. Now let's get back to the fender. Go to the assembly mode. Maybe we can bash this out, right? All right, it looks like we have to go to the other table. Body repair table. Okay, let's start the minigame to fix the fender. Now you see two colors on the lower bar. Red failed. Press space when the indicator is on the green. What, this indicator? Okay. easy enough nothing too hard and then you need to repaint it now go to the cars ready to go back we put on track let's go okay we can end the service yes with everything fixed up we are finishing service time get back to your positions the weather today is sunny and dry with clear so you can skies. actually repair like parts in this downtime came to extra parts. Our drivers that's cool let's welcome today's teams and see what unveils Good luck to all the teams. Break some records. And with the signal, they went speeding down the track. With the championship at stake, every move matters as the battle for supremacy Let's go. continues Let's go. as they weave through the S-turns, pushing their limits. It seems like they have no fear whatsoever. Let's just hope that this confidence will help them qualify. There was a minor collision, and it appears that left fender side got quite a beating that could be a challenge for the mechanics. As the sun begins to set, visibility becomes a challenge, adding another element to this gripping race. 
I wonder how driving attitudes of our teams will change after the sun sets a bit. They took slower pace this time, maybe this new route are making them more careful than usual. A mechanical issue for one of the contenders. This could be a game changer in the championship standings. Alrighty, so we've got a couple of things Amazing to worry about. Job. We would never expect time that good for today. As dust settles, the check. Okay, so we finished on first place. There we go, look. And we're done, and that's the end of the tutorial. We hope we gave you some perspective of how to work and live in the world of riding mechanics. Okay, see you in the service part mechanic. Okay, so not available in the demo, the service time stats. Um, okay, we can end the rally. Okay, so we get to welcome to the demo version of the game. In this demo, you can work on one of our cars and participate in two rally events, asphalt and gravel. Remember, sometimes you have to change parts of the car to accommodate the road types chosen. Alrighty, yes. Okay, so let's go have a look at the event. So we got the asphalt and we got this one. Uh, so we've done the asphalt one. Let's go to gravel. Okay, our car is not fully ready for this. Um... All right, replace shock absorbers for gravel rally, replace brakes for gravel. Okay, so we've currently got the, I don't know if we've got asphalt or whatever. We've got to replace the tires as well. We're gonna to have to do all of them. Uh, we've got to disconnect the brake lines. Nice and easy. All right, shock absorbers are gonna to have to come out. So we'll do this. We'll probably just do the one rally because we did the tutorial. Uh, because the other one's just asphalt again. Just to uh, go with the flow really here. Okay, so I want to assemble mode. Why do I only have asphalt? Do I need... Do I need to go buy these? Alright, let's actually take this tire off first. Let's just see where we're at with this. Right, okay, so maybe I need to buy some stuff for us. I don't know. Part shop. Okay, well, I need rims, maybe. I got 20,000. I don't know what's a good size rim for gravel. 15s? So I'm going to just take note of those numbers because I'm going to need to buy tyres for it, I? So I've got 15s, 2, 3, 5. Okay, are we going to go into a dry gravel race here? Gravel, straight, flat, dry. Okay. I need four 15s. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, sugar. The width was wrong. I can't change these. Oh, bugger. Okay, so let's uh, rework this. I've just wasted money. 205s, uh, 15s, 65 on the profile. Let's get four of them. Okay, we get the 205s here. They look more like rally anyways. Okay, uh, car body and main shot. It'll have to be the main shot, won't it? We're going to be looking for suspension items. Why does that not look like suspension? Suspension's probably under here, right? Okay, we need front shock absorbers for gravel. We're going to need two of them. And I need rears as well. We changing all of this stuff in our rear, outer rear. There for the rears. Outer rear suspension arm, tie rod ends, none of that stuff. Rear shocks for the gravel.
Nothing there we can buy that's any good. Anything else? Nah, not really. Alright. Let's put our first tire together. Uh, they're 18s. They're not 18s. We want the 15s. Okay, clearly I brought the wrong tyres. I have no idea why that's not working. Okay, so why... Buy a ton of these, see what happens. One of them's gonna have to work, right? Really, out of all my rims here, nothing's gonna work. Four track assigned. I, I, I've already got these, so 205, 65s. I, I already have those profiles, so. Why are you being a pain? Right, let's worry about that in a second. Let's do the suspension side of things. Um, Okay, we've got to change the arms as well. That's what we will do. Let's just uh, buy whatever that needs. Okay, so gravel suspension arms. I'm gonna need two of you. And I need uh, gravel brakes as well, probably. Was there rear discs? Okay, so for me here then, I'm having a problem with the tires. I have these 15s. For the track. So why are we being a pain with these? The 205s. I hope I can sell all those other ones I got. Okay, apparently there was something very obviously I was doing wrong, which was the whip. Ok, 
Okay, we'll take the tire and we'll put it on the balancer. Okay, so we know that we need the gravel disc. Don't... Okay, apparently it needs its own uh, caliper as well. Didn't even look for that. Right, the good news is I've spent a ton of money, but I should have everything. Um, still in assembly mode, that's good. And apparently the brake pads as well need to be uh, special brake pads. That's uh, fair enough. Don't know why I just didn't read everything properly in the screen. Just getting excited, I suppose. All right, let's get these pads in. Luckily, we can put them in this way. All right, we've done one wheel. Bloody hell, we're getting there. Okay, we're going to take this off as a set. We need to take you out. And uh, we need to take the absorber out. Obviously, I'm assuming we're going to get perks for speed of these things as well. I'm assuming. I mean, it would make the most sense if we did. All right, shock is all but right. Uh, it needs to be for the gravel. A gravel suspension arm. Bar link. Okay, we've already got the disc set uh, for the gravel. Gravel caliper. And we've already got the pads as well. Alright, the only thing I need to sort out is the wheel. Let's just get all the tires done. Okay, time balancer. Let's get these gravel ones balanced. Tires are done.
Yeah, it's the rear brakes. We're gonna take off the uh, the two trailing arms as well. Does it have two upper ones? Inner and outer. Oh, bugger. I know I brought all of them, we'll see. I suppose it's good how they're color coded. Alright, let's put this uh, little gizmo back on. Okay, you're on. I don't think there was another trailing arm. Oh no, type A. I put the wrong wheel on the front, didn't I? What an idiot. Okay, so just this back corner to go, hopefully. Okay, back into our assembly mode then. Alright, that should be that part done. No. Put this trading arm in just while we're on this side. And gravel, gravel. Be nice if we start off with like quite a bit of a banger of a car and stuff. Hopefully that is a thing. Oh, 
Okay, we are done. We are ready. Spare parts. Gravel. Why are these flashing red? Does that mean I don't have any extra ones? Is that what that means? Okay, so maybe we should take some spare gravel. Um, well, we might be able to repair some there. So we'll take one. And we'll buy one of them. We'll buy one of them. We'll buy a shock absorber. Like, we know that we can repair some of this stuff. So let's not go too crazy. Right, I feel like there's more than enough stuff there. I've run out of money. Hopefully I can sell all of this. my fault really once we kind of got everything uh, properly we, we were all right do I have enough money now? Okay, so uh, we're here. We might as well uh, start the rally. Let's see what uh, day one brings. Um, end service. Yes. Hello. Welcome to Bronze League Rally. This beautiful sunny day helps us welcome our today's teams. We've got some frequent flyers and some new faces. Our track is mostly straight, so we've got high chance to see some high speed action. We wish all the best to the teams. With the end of service comes time to race. Good luck, everyone. With the championship at stake, every move matters as the battle for supremacy continues as they weave through the S-turns, pushing their limits. Look at how sharp they are taking the turns. They take more aggressive approach today for sure. A mechanical issue for one of the contenders. This could be a game changer in the championship standings. Look at that dust cloud. Driver behind won't be so pleased about it. The further we are in the race, it gets more interesting. Every pass on the track makes it a little bit different for the next driver. They took a slower pace this time. Maybe this new route are making them more careful than usual. Their car started smoking white. Pretty bad from under the hood. Must have been cooling system. That wasn't a good day for the team. Let's just blame it on atmospheric pressure. As dust settles, the checkered flag waves one final time, marking the end of today's rally. Join me in celebrating the triumphant victors and offering... Okay, so we have a few faults here. First thing we need to do is wash the car. Okay, service has started. Check engine for air leaks. Uh, temperature gauges in the red. Oh, Jesus. Okay, some of this stuff is not doing particularly well. I'd say most of my leak is going to be from uh, the 
radio system. Okay, we're still in test mode. We're looking for air leaks. Where the frick would the air leaks be coming from from under here? I can't... I can't examine this part. How the hell am I supposed to know what's wrong? Okay, oh Jesus, there's a lot of pressure here now. Alright, we know the radiator is knackered anyways. Let's get some of this stuff fixed. What else is it missing? I can't see if there's another stupid... Uh, oh, there's a pin there, look. How the hell are you supposed to see this pin? Okay, well the cooling system. Let's uh, let's try and uh, get these fixed. Check engine. We lost some power here. We're still from under the hood. Is there anything else I can do to check things? No. We don't have a multimeter. I mean, if there's a whistling noise, I'm going to say it's exhaust based, uh, in all honesty. There's a lot connected to this. Ow. Can't see. I'm not even going to have the car back together in four minutes. Can I test anything else here? Alright, we're just gonna have to get things back together. The main the main manifold isn't in that bad a condition, so Yeah, whistling noises. Could be a turbo, actually. Can I see that turbo at the back, I wonder? Let's get the radio back on. Let's just do what we can do. For me, it's either air pipes, turbo, exhaust. Depending on the whistling noise, to be honest with you. But it's kind of good. You need to have some sort of... Uh, inkling of some sort of mechanical justice. Oh, there's a silly little one in there that I can't see again, isn't there? I mean, having the cooling fixed is definitely important, so... That's done. Okay, let's go back to uh, disassembly mode. Still three minutes. Bit of a trial and error here, I think. Oh. 
It's not really the turbo. We'll fix these pipe bits up anyways. Alright, let's get this assembled. What the hell can be whistling at me? Maybe something I can't test. Fluids are fine. Oh, for friggin' hell's sake, it's just the air box. That was me thinking it was gonna be, uh, Something to do with the exhaust system. Right, let's get these repaired quickly. Feels so stupid it, it was I mean whistling sound to me usually would be exhaust based, not the air box, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm supposed to leaking here. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to say that that was in any way as easy as it should have been. Hello and welcome ladies and gents to Bronze League Rally. The weather today is sunny and dry with clear skies. Looks like even Mother Nature came to spectate our drivers. Let's welcome today's teams and see what unveils. Good luck to all the teams. Break some records. What a start. Perfect clutch timing executed by this driver. The track conditions are evolving, forcing drivers to adapt to the changing grip levels. The telemetry data must be telling an interesting story for the engineers as they analyze performance metrics. They took slower pace this time. Maybe this new route are making them more careful than usual. That was nasty. After this, right suspension is in serious need of love. The lead has changed hands a few times now, showcasing the competitiveness of this sport. All I can say is that rookies are proving themselves today. I've got a feeling that's not the last time we will see those surnames. You can clearly see that their previous experiences taught them a lot. Their clutch game got on another level, and corner confidence is through the roof today. Their car started smoking white, pretty bad from under the hood. Must have been cooling system. Okay, so I've broken the radiator again. Absolutely amazing time. You don't see performance that good often. All right, the car is dirty, so as always, there we go. Let's get under the hood again. We, we obviously, come on. How can you bust the radiator twice? Some of our electrical equipment gave out this time. Okay, I don't have an OBD scanner. I'm trying to see if I can get any of these things.
All right, let's just start with this cooling system. We know that the intercooler A is broken. All right, can I notice anything else that looks damaged? Okay, the fans are good. Some of the electrical equipment gave out. Front suspension, right arm. I can see that that's pretty banged up. Under the tight constraints, you feel pressure. For sure you feel some pressure here. Let's just see if anything else under here was noticeably uh, damaged. I can't really see anything. Okay, looks like the steering rack is another one. I've got some things here, so let's just get repairing whatever I've got. wrong suspension arms going in. That's the suspension at least sorted. Right, 
I've taken some things off in here that clearly didn't need to come off. I mean, not being funny, they say electrical. But that's not electrical. I mean, this is electrical stuff. Okay, we hear a whizzing sound. Check the air system. Okay, well, we know the intercooler part A had to be replaced. For one minute. The blow-off type A. Okay, yeah. We need to take you out. Is there a type B of this bloody thing? We only got one blow off. Alright, part still not found. Some of it. Is it that? There's a lot of stuff here I can't even check. I haven't got a clue. We ain't gonna be able to get it before, uh... Before the race starts. Panel V will be charged. What? Oh, that's harsh. I feel like you should just go out and not be as good. I don't feel like we should... and salutations bronze rally starts today today we are hosting upcoming stars of rally world okay we finished in second place not bad i think we uh, we did well and the car is nice and clean so there we go guys i'm gonna leave it there uh, let me know what you guys think i think it could be i like the concept i think it could be really good fun um we obviously there'll be new testing materials and bits and pieces that we can get that will be able to help test other things faster obviously um but yeah i definitely want to do something with this once it does come out into release at some point this year hopefully uh, subscribe if you're new hit that like bell not now thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now